to Tai Chi. Everybody ready? Let's warm up. Hands at our waist. Turn our neck. Turn your shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Expand your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Waist exercise. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Airplane, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Touch toe. One, two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The way. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Be careful. Shift your weight. Kick your foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick your foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opening up our span, doing our Heisman. Choose one side, cross and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Short one. One, two, three, four, five. Sit on the side that your hand is up. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, practicing our golden cockerel, getting better each time we do it. Remembering all our elements for our good Tai Chi posture. Dropping our shoulders. Once we drop our shoulders, we hollow out our chest. We tuck our butt. Our knees are relaxed. Your chin down, your glance way ahead of you. Tongue on your palate. Moving out and opening up your span for more movement. Shifting your weight to the left. Up. Holding up. Opening up even more. Center. Counterbalance. And up. Now, shift weight. And up. Shift weight. Down. And up. Shift weight, center and counterbalance. Shift weight, counterbalance and up. Right hand on the outside, right foot coming up, making sure you counterbalance when you kick out in line, the left hand countering the front hand. Centering and out. Centering and out. Down, up, and out. Last set. Centering, up, and out. Center, up, and out. Holding our ball on a T stance, move down on the back or left, right foot, holding the ball, good size of the ball. Out on an L stance, part the ball, of course, is me. Sit back, twist step, shift weight, T and ball, L stance, bow stance. Sit back, twist step. Shift weight, T and ball, L, one hand advances, full stance. Sit back, twist step, shift weight, ball and T, out and to the side, L stance, full stance. Sit back, twist step, shift weight, hold your ball. L stance, bottom hand advances, it is. Sit back, twist step, T stance, we're going to ward off, out and to the side, push your opponent away, finish your rotation to grasp the bird's tail, pull down, pull back, look back, turn, then square, then contact, push at your wrist, separate, shoulder width, roll back, Roll up and forward. Sit back, twist step, left hand on the bottom to hold your ball on a T. Out on an L, bottom hand advances to ward off, finish up your hips rotating to grasp the bird's tail. Pull down, pull back, look back. Turn, then square, then contact, push, separate, roll back, roll up and forward. Sit back. Step, hold your ball on the tee. How are you going to ward off? Out onto the side, push your opponent, turn the hips and waist to grasp the bird's tail. Look back, turn, then square the contact, push out. So three, roll back. When you roll forward, make sure you see the fingertips at eye level. Sit back, twist step, hold your ball on the tee. Out to the side, roll up, and finish your rotation by grasping the bird's tail. Look back, turn, 
square, then contact, push, separate, roll back, roll up and forward, sit back, twist step, hold your ball on the T. We're going to part the wild horse's mane. Here it is. Sit back, twist step, hold your ball on a T, out and to the side. Part the wild horse's mane. Sit back, twist step, hold your ball on a T, out and to the side. Roll stance. Flip that hand and join it. Then sit back, twist, 12 o'clock, cup and stem, open up to 9 o'clock, flip meet, close your stance. Middle or cup, eye level, 3 o'clock, open, loud hands, middle or cup, 9 o'clock, only flip meet, 12 o'clock, middle or cup, 3 o'clock, flip meet, close your stance, middle or cup. Middle or cup. Three o'clock only flip meet. Transition out and do a golden cock run. Down and up. Down and cross. And out. Counterbalance. Down. Center. Follow your kick. Counter balance with the other hand. Holding our ball in a T stance, we're going to grasp the bird's tail. First, boarding off, finish up your hips and waist, waist to grasp the bird's tail. Look back at it, turn square, then contact, push out with that energy. Roll back, roll up and forward. Sit back, twist step, hold your ball in a T, out side, and off. Finish your rotation by grasping the bird's tail. Pull out, pull back, look back. Turn, then square the contact, push, separate, pull back, roll up and fold. Sit back, twist and turn, twist and open, in and in, off the ground, right hand on the inside of the cross as you embrace the tiger, bringing him up. Rotating on your wrist to push out. Palms down, shoulder width away. Drop your shoulders, make yourself small. Peel up as you close your form. Okay, now that we're warmed up, we'll warm up even more. Commencing form. On your toe, open, toe, down, rotate, up, deep breath in. Release, drop your shoulders, tuck your elbows and wrists. Center, higher, open. Ear, turn your face. Meet both hands in the middle as you repulse the monkey. Center, higher, open. Ear, turn your face. Meet in the middle, repulsing of the monkey. T stance, parallel and higher. Ear, heel, hand, face, brush your knee. Sit back, twist, parallel and T and higher. Ear, heel, hand, face, brush your knee. Sit back, twist step, hold your ball on a T. Think about what you're going to do as you part the ball versus me. Sit back. Twist step, hold your ball on a T, out and to the side, L stance, O stance. Flip that hand and join it, then sit back. 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Three o'clock, twelve o'clock, nine o'clock, twelve o'clock, three o'clock, twelve o'clock, and up. 
and down and up and down and cross and out down and cross and out holding your ball on a t-stand you're down on the left or back foot out into the side what are you gonna do push him away and cross the bird's tail contact push him out go back push him up and out sit back twist hold your ball in a teeny out inside or it off finish up the rotation by grasping the bird's tail pull down pull back Sit back, twist and turn, open and open, in and in, off the ground, right hand on the inside of the cross as we raise the tiger up, rotate, push him out, separate shoulder width, drop shoulders, bring back all your energy, heel up, off the ground, toe down, heel down, okay, getting better as we get um, moving forward, commencing form. Pulsing of the monkey. Wild horse's mane, loud hand. Cross the bird scale. Closing form. Now 
样偏酸。Very good. Feel good about it. So um, we'll take off from where we left last week, which is our Tai Chi walk, putting um, movements to it. Are there any questions with the ten form this morning? So let's do a little quiz here. Show me how you do a T stance. And show me how you brush your knee. Parallel and higher, out, down, brush your knee, sit back, two step, parallel and higher, ear, heel, hand, face, brush your knee, sit back, two step, knee stance, parallel and higher, Ear, heel, hand, face, brush your knee. Okay, everybody watch. So, in brushing your knee, you don't hold your ball, but a way of balancing is to keep one hand parallel and higher, and the uh, parallel and the other hand higher. So we're on a T, and instead of holding a ball, we're doing this, but we're centering ourselves in this fashion. When you brush your knee, you need to come out on a nail stance, 
and you need to multitask the ear and the hand comes down as if it were to brush your knee. So the first start is that everybody's left hand should be slightly to their above their chest and in an angle like this. And the hand, the palm should be against your body, not flat of course, but extended out. Then it's going to come down, out, and around. It's going to come down, out, and around. So it has to come down, out, and around. So it has to take this motion. So to begin with, if your hand is not up where it should be, it's not going to have the momentum to come down, out, and around. It's just going to be halfway getting that, that start. But you want to keep it up higher so it can come down and in line with your feet movements. And at the same time, we're multitasking. This hand up here is higher and it's going to come. When your hand comes to your ear, it automatically brings down the hand that's parallel. It's almost as if it's connected. And then the feet come along too. All right, on a T stance. Ear, heel, hand, face, turn the hips and waist to brush your knee. Sit back, pivot, parallel higher on a T. Watch that right hand should be up by your shoulder, near your shoulder, multitask. Ear, heel, hand, face, turn the hips and waist, brush your knee. Sit back, twist step, T, higher, Ear, heel, hand, face, brush your knee, sit back, twist, parallel and higher, ear, heel, hand, face, brush your knee, sit back, twist step, one more set, parallel and higher, ear, heel, hand, face, brush your knee, back, last one, twist step, parallel and higher, ear, heel, hand, face, brush your knee, sit back. Okay, warming, you, warming ourselves up so that we can apply what we just learned into Tai Chi Wong, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to review how we're going to walk, okay? So we're going to listen and we're going to look first and then we're going to try. So we learned that we're on a T stance and we also know that we have to come out on an L stance and we call this an L stance because if we drag the front foot back, there should be a gap. We cannot take an L stance this way and move it back and hit our, our planted leg so that L stance has to come out and to the side so that there's a clear space. When we do Tai Chi walk, the twist step takes another form. All it does is it just pivots on its heel. So when we do Tai Chi walk, this is the twist step. When we shift our weight, we come out on an L stance and then we come out on a, rotate our hips and waist to a bow stance. Then we sit back, then we take a twist step, which all it means is come out on your heel, pivot on your heel, come out on an L, parallel to the line of the floor, or on a line, shift your weight and come out to a bow stance. Sit back and there's a pattern to it. This is the zigzag motion when we twist. This is the L when we come out to the middle. When we sit back, we take another zigzag. So this is the B pattern. This is, uh, this is the C pattern. This is the B pattern. This is the sit back. This is the A. A, B, sit back. C. What comes next? B. Sit back. 
What comes next? The reverse, A. Do you understand? So A always, A and C always take you to a zigzag, and B always takes you straight ahead. So if we are consistent, our walk will take us straight to the opposite side of the road because we're taking an A, a B, a C, a B, a A, and B. So that B is important because it has to be on a line or parallel to the line to take us in a forward, straight motion rather than keeping going on favoring the zigzag motion. Okay? Now, this is an opportunity to reinforce what you know about a twist step, an L stance, and a O stance, because you are surely applying what you learn. So to make that clear, this is the twist step. And you see that my hips need to follow that pivoted foot. It cannot just go there and the hip is still here. This is called a misalignment. So it's as if when we take a twist step, we need to walk in this direction. If we walk into this A position, then both hips have to be addressed to the side. You cannot take a position here and walk this way because this hip wants to go that way. So surely you know that if you take a twist and you want to walk in this position, here I am ready for the next walk. However, we fall short of it and we take a B position, which is an L stance. Same here. When we take the C position, we are walking in this direction. Therefore, both hips are in this direction. When we take an L stance or B position, we are again walking in this direction. Therefore, our hips have to be addressed to the outward point. Okay? So, if you can um, try to implement that, that would be perfect. If you don't, you will catch on and we won't let you forget that because it's not good for your, your hips if you don't get into that correct alignment. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just practice our Tai Chi walk. When I feel that you're good, then we're going to part the wild horse's knee. Okay? And then after that, we'll do more things like brush knee. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to move um, two steps back so we can go forward and kick. Alright, hands at our waist. Good Tai Chi posture. Tucking our butts. Sinking our, our uh, chest. Chin down. Tongue on our palate. Pivot out as if you're going to walk in the right position. That's an A. Here's a B, which is an L stance. Turn the hips and waist as if we're going to walk in the forward direction. O stance. Sit back all the way. Pivot out on the C position as if you're going to walk in that direction. Getting back to a B or L stance. Rotate O stance. Sit back, zigzag out, as if you're going to walk in that position, L stance, O stance, sit back, pivot out on a zigzag, as if you're going to walk in that direction, L stance, O stance, sit back, Pivot out as if you're going to walk in that direction. L stance. O stance. Sit back. Zigzag out in that direction you're going to walk. Heel. L stance. O stance. We're going to part the wild horse's mane. Sit back. Left hand on the bottom. Pivot out. Hold your ball. L stance, bottom hand advances, part the wild horse's mane. Sit back, pivot out as if you're going to walk in that direction by holding your ball for better balance. L stance, part the wild horse's mane. Sit back, 
pivot. I'll walk in that direction. Hold your ball for better balance. L stance. O stance. Sit back. Pivot out. Hold your ball. L stance. Part the ball. Torso's main. Here it is. Sit back. Pivot out. Walk in that direction. Hold your ball. L stance. O stance. Sit back. Twist step. Hold your ball. Heel. Heart. Wild horses made. Here it is. Sit back. Pivot out. Walk in that direction. Hold your ball. L stance. O stance. Sit back. Twist step. Hold your ball. L stance. O stance. Continue. Sit back. Twist step. Hold your ball. Heel and hands. L stance. O stance. Sit back. Twist step. Hold your ball. L stance. O stance. Sit back. Twist step. Walk in that direction. L stance. O stance. Sit back. Twist step. Hold your ball. L stance. O stance. Sit back all the way. Twist step. Shift your weight. Hold your ball. Heel out. L stance. O stance. Very good. Okay. So, um, when we're in motion, this is, goes for all of Tai Chi. When we're in motion, sometimes we let things go. So Tai, tai Chi is a discipline, so we have to be disciplined enough to remember that we can't let our hands go if just because we're concentrating on our feet, vice versa. So you're gonna have to pull those elements together and make them whole and let your body in total work for you. So what we just did was something like this. Out, walk in that direction. Now, walk in that direction. Sit back. Walk in that direction. L. O stance. Sit back. Twist step. Walk in that direction. Hold my ball for better balance. L stance. Turn the hips and waist. O stance. So all we're doing is a pattern of twist step, L stance, O stance. But to it, we're adding our parting of the wall versus main. We hold our ball for better balance because I am trying to balance. So that helps me stabilize. And we just part the wall versus main just as if we were on a T stance, a L stance, part the wall versus main. But instead of just going around and around and a block on one step here and then one step here, we're just continually going forward. But we are strict with what we do, okay? So for the most part, everybody did very well, okay? Not exactly 100% correct in every instance, but getting in that um, area. And the reason why I said that is because um, we can now look at timing, look at shifting of the weight, look for synchronizing of movement. So we're moving in that direction. The next thing we're going to do now is um, brush our knee. That's why we're prepping for it, okay? So we know that one hand is up higher, not way up there, but short of our shoulder, short of our shoulder, below our shoulder, in my sense of parallel. The other hand is up here, and we're doing this, okay? And we do it all the time because we're on a T stance, we come out on an L stance, we come out on a bull stance. All we're gonna do is continue to do it. Sit back, twist step, parallel and higher, and brush our knee. No different from parting of the walls versus main, except of course, the movement requires a multitasking, but our feet remain the same is taking a twist step, walking in that direction. L stance, O stance. Sit back, twist step, parallel and higher, walk in that direction. 
blah, blah, blah. Same old, same, okay? So let's try that. All right, I think it'll be fun. Take your time. I'll try to go slowly, okay? Let's, let's give us a little bit more room. So go back at least two more big uh, steps. Okay, and then you know when I finish up there, then I get to watch you. Don't be afraid. Just, just kind of hammer it out just the way you hear me uh, in the start position. Okay, all right. Give it out. Parallel and higher. L stance. Heel. Bring it to your ear. Turn your face. Brush your knee. Sit back. Give it out. Parallel and higher. Ear, heel, hand, L stance, O stance. Sit back, pivot out, parallel and higher. Ear, heel, hand, face, brush your knee. Sit back, twist step, parallel and higher. Ear, heel, hand, L stance, O stance. Sit back, twist, parallel and higher. Walk in that direction. L stance, brush your knee, O stance. Sit back, pivot out, parallel and higher. Ear, heel, hand, face, L stance, O stance. Sit back, twist, walk in that direction. L stance. O stance. Sit back, pivot out, walk in that direction, parallel and higher. L stance. O stance, brush your knee. Sit back, twist step, parallel and higher, walk in that direction. L stance, walk in that direction. O stance. Sit back, pivot out, parallel and higher. L stance, O stance. Sit back, pivot out, parallel and higher. L stance, O stance. Sit back, pivot out, parallel and higher. Ear, heel, hand, face, brush your knee. Sit back, twist step, parallel and higher. Ear, heel, hand, face, brush your knee. Sit back, twist step, parallel and higher. Ear, heel, hand, face, brush your knee. One more. Sit back, twist step, parallel and higher. Ear, heel, hand, face, brush your knee. Sit back. Okay, very good. So how are you going to get better? You're going to get better by practicing. But you practice just by taking it apart. Just do your feet. Then when you get really auto and good and you know exactly what to do in all your uh, formations, then you then add things together. Okay? It's no different. Here's your parallel and your higher, and here's your ear, heel, hand, face. Turn your hips and waist, full stance. Sitting back, parallel and higher. Ear, heel, hand, face. Brush your knee. Sit back, twist out. I don't have my ball, but this is my safety right here. And I am on an L stance, and then a full stance. So, yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of thinking. It's a lot of making your body do what you know you're supposed to, do. and it's kind of challenging because you're concentrating on your hands, but at the same time you have to concentrate and synchronize your feet. But once you get it, you feel like, wow, I got it, and it feels good. So that's what we're striving for. Um, let's let's learn two easy 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 uh, movements. One is called uh, white crane spreads its wings. When white crane spreads its wings, it is a transition step out of um, parting the wild horse's mane. So we're going to part the wild horse's mane 
And to get out of that movement, I need to, I need to hold my ball and I need to spin it, sit back on my back foot, bring up my hand, bring up my foot, and set it down on my toe. Okay, want to do that? Let's try it. It's, it's using our muscles, it's making us think, it's making us balance, it's making us our muscles um, tougher, okay? So we're gonna walk like we're doing Tai Chi walk, we're gonna, gonna do three, Parting of the wild horse's mane to get into white crane spreads its wings, okay? And I'll take it slowly. Everybody should be ready for a challenge, okay? Because you know a lot and we're gonna fill your brain and mind so that it does uh, learns a little bit more. Okay, so we're gonna part the wild horse's mane. Left hand on the bottom, right hand on the top. And a T stance, weighted down and rooted down on our right or back foot. We're gonna take an L stance and we're gonna part the wild horse's mane. Here it is, bow stance. We're gonna sit back, we're gonna pivot out. We're gonna walk in that direction, but we're gonna hold our ball for better balance. We're gonna come out on an L stance, bottom hand advances to part the wild horse's mane. Here it is. We're gonna sit back, we're gonna pivot out as if we're going to walk in that direction hold the ball for better balance l stance bottom hand advances to part the wild horse's mane for the third time now we need to get out of parting of the wild horse's mane by doing white crane spreads its wings do what i do and listen half step on your toe as you hold your ball Okay, weight is on the front. We want the weight to go on the back. We're gonna spin the ball to the left as we sit back on our back foot, draw up our right hand, draw up our left foot, and set it on its toes, and this is called white crane spreads its wings. Are you following me? I think you are, okay? So, We'll practice it again. We're doing the last parting of the wild horse's mane. Okay, this time it's on um, right hand on the bottom. We're on a T stance. Out and to the side. Part the wild, oh sorry, part the wild horse's mane, wrong, wrong side. Sit back, twist out, hold your ball. Heel out on an L stance. This is the third parting of the wild horse's mane. We're taking a half step forward, but we need to hold our ball for better balance. It's centering us. We're on our toe of our back foot. We're gonna spin the ball to the left, sit back on our back foot. If the weight is on the back, it allows our right hand to come up and our left foot to come up. Set it on its toe as we are doing a movement called white crane spreads its wings. That better? I say yes. We're gonna tuck our elbow down as we bisect our body and drop our front foot. And guess what we're gonna do? What is this? Parallel and higher, brush your knee. Ready to go on an L stance? Out, heel, ear, heel, hand, face. Brush your knee. What do you think we're gonna do? Sit back, twist step, parallel and higher, ear, heel, on an L stance, brush your knee. Sit back, pivot out, walk in that direction, parallel and higher, ear, on an L stance, brush your knee. We want to get out of brushing our knee. Same thing. Half step forward on your toe. Sit back on your back foot. Put your front foot on its heel and play your lute. So how do you play your lute? When you play your lute, your left foot is on its heel 
and the weight is on your back or right foot. Your left hand is higher, forward. Your right hand dips towards your elbow, and you're playing your pipa or your or the lute, the Chinese lute called a pipa. Okay, and the weight is on the back, setting us up for repulsing of the monkey. Okay, we'll try that. People, this is one of the hardest movements. It's a backwards Tai Chi walk. We drop our front foot, we center our front hand, our back hand is higher. We know this, but we don't know this part. So watch carefully and then I'll let you do it with me, okay? But watch carefully. Weight on the back, you're gonna lift up your foot on the front. For better balance, it's coming to your ear and a toe and a heel. Pivot in the front of your, for your front foot, and you're going to repulse your monkey. What are you going to do? Four times. This is the second time. Higher and centered. Weight on the left foot now, or the back foot. You're going to bring it up and toe and ear and heel. Pivot on the ball of your foot of the front foot to meet in the middle. Slide forward and slide back. Hey, we're finally doing something that we know. Center, up higher, look at it. What are you gonna do? You're gonna put the weight on the back, you're gonna lift, bring it to your ear, set out your toe, pivot in the front of your, ball of your foot of the front foot, meet in the middle, and pulse of the monkey. Do it four times. Center and higher, weight on the back, lift, ear, toe, Heel, pivot on the ball of your foot, repulse of the monkey. Okay, can you do what I do? You're going to pivot on your right heel, turn towards the clock, bring it up to a T stance, and hold your ball. You're going to grasp the bird's tail. L stance, ward off, turn the hips and waist. Grasp the bird's tail. Pull down, pull back, look back. Turn, then square, then contact push. Separate, pull back. Roll up and forward. What you do on one side, you do on the other side. Sit back, twist step, right hand on the bottom, hold your ball, you don't need to see me. T stance, out on an L stance, bottom hand advances, push that opponent away. Finish up your rotation and grasp the bird's tail. Pull down, pull back, pull back. Turn, then square, then contact, push. Separate, roll back, roll up and pull. Sit back, twist step, cup, T stance, cup, hook the backhand, step out, single whip. Okay? And it's nice because after that, you get into plowed hands. <laughs> but, but you did a lot to follow me and to get in the right position. And the hands takes, takes a long time. But you gave it a try, and that's all we, we ask you to do, to see the bigger picture. So the 10th form is, is down here, and we're opening, and opening up our horizon and seeing the 24 form using Tai Chi Wong. But all I wanted you to do to show you that what you have learned in the 10 form really well can apply and take you to other forms. And the other forms allow you a little bit more freedom to move around rather than to stay in a certified area. Okay? And yet, if you know the 10 and the movements and the formation very well, it's easy to make that transition and doing a Tai Chi walk and putting more movements on. And um, I think that um, sometimes it's good because it's not as boring, not as boring for me too, but it also gives you room for um, building, stretches your mind a little bit more and shows you what, what more there is out there. Not necessarily pushing you to go to 24, but you can also see that it's making use of the muscle toning that you already have and building on it and getting it better. So I think 
think that the most important, one of the most important things is that we learn that the Tai Chi ball centers us, and especially when we're um, in motion, but we also learn that if we cannot hold the ball, there are other ways of helping us. And the other way is parallel and higher. What am I doing? I'm balancing. Balancing and and balancing out again. But this time I'm getting a little fancy, but it's okay because our body knows that that is another way, a secure way of, of moving. Okay? So that's what Tai Chi is all about. Okay, very good. Um, yeah, so I wish we had more time, but that's it. Lesson number nine, and so we'll see you again next week.